Doc is in from Bryant Wellness Institutes of Acadiana, and uh, Doc's talking about uh, chemicals that you use around your house that are just not good for you. Yeah, so there's 188 million pounds of chemicals dumped in our water every year. There's 1.4 billion, with a B, pounds of chemicals dumped in our air every year, and there's 2.8 billion pounds of chemicals dumped on our ground year after year after year, not to mention all the chemicals that are in toys and plastics leaching out of the water bottles and plastic food containers. There are chemicals in our home like in cleaners, carpeting, furniture, and mattresses. So they're literally everywhere, and we need to try to cut them down because they're causing a lot of today's worst health problems. You know, I was buying a couch just last week. This happened to me last week. I was buying a new couch, and the sales guy came after I'd I'd purchased the couch and asked me if I wanted this special stain-resistant Teflon spray they put on there to resist stains At a very reasonable price. Don't tell me that it's bad because I have it on all of my furniture. (laughs) Okay, so I said, no thanks, you know, and and later then, because I said no, of course, then the manager come over and reassured me that, you know, having a little boy, I really needed this special Teflon coating that will prevent stains. And again, I said, no thanks. And he looked at me kind of puzzled and said, can I ask you why not? And, of course, I went on a tear about that this Teflon is a thyroid-altering chemical, and it's not something that I want in my house, and I try to avoid, you know, and he had no clue. Well, Deb, Deb, I have to sell the furniture now. (laughs) (laughs) So he looked at me like I was, he had absolutely no clue that there was anything harmful about the stuff that he was spraying on everybody's furniture. And if some people want it, that's fine. But I choose to try to cut down these chemicals. Sure, sure. And so if you have that on your furniture, you know, just you, you can always just kind of open your windows and let that kind of stuff air out and, and, you know, try to vacuum it, try to just soften it some. And it's you fine. know, it's so, so funny that you should say that and bring that up, <clears throat> because um, I, I, I there was one particular place that I sat and for probably when the furniture was new and for probably, I know, maybe nine months to a year. Every time I sat there, um, I felt I kind of I, I didn't feel right. Yeah, you know, it, it was off gassing. It was like my it was eyes wanted to shut. I got a little nauseated, mm-hmm. and and I and I actually said to myself, I bet it's something in the material on this couch. Mm-hmm. And oh, now you I, know, huh? You know how you walk into some stores yeah. and j- just the smell of whatever that chemical is that's yeah. on the fabric, right? It's just overwhelming. It's everywhere, mm-hmm. and so it off gases over time. So in other words, like mobile uh, homes when you go when you're shopping for a mobile yeah, home, full of formaldehyde, it burns your eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, really bad for you. So here are the big three or four things that you can watch out for. Number one are called phthalates, and these are in plastics, and they make plastics more flexible. They're also put them in soaps, shampoos, makeups, plastic, and and blood storage bags, believe it or not, Um, proven to cause thyroid and hormone disruption, obesity, and diabetes. The very, very biggest one in society today is BPA, and I know everybody's heard of BPA or bisphenol A, and these are in the plastics. They're in the linings of canned foods. They're proven to cause hormone disruption, uh, diabetes, breast and prostate cancer, thyroid problems, Early onset of puberty due to its estrogen-like qualities. So, in other words, the average age of puberty in girls has gone from 13 down to 9. I know. The reason that's happening is because of the BPA in our environment. So, there's so much BPA in everything that teenagers So, why, come to- why is it legal oh. to you? Somebody's getting paid? Absolutely. It's the, 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 our oversight with the chemicals that are produced in our environment is a terrible um, there, there's virtually no oversight at all with this. It also is proven to cause diabetes, obesity, ADD, bipolar disorder, neurobiological problems such as depression and anxiety. Now, the other one is a flame retardant called poly, uh, polybrominated diphenyl ether, and this is on furniture, upholstery, mattresses, carpets, electronics, proven to cause thyroid and hormone disruption, learning problems, ADD, fatigue, and brain fog. Don't they spray children's pajamas with some sort of fireproof coating, too? They used to. They made them stop. Oh, they did? Yeah, they did that back in the 80s when they this first came out, and, and I think that I don't think that they do that anymore in most cases. But, yeah, they were putting this stuff on kids' pajamas for a while when it first came out in the 80s. Wow. Now, the big one, the, the Teflon one, is called perfluorinated chemicals. These are your resist stain resistors. They resist grease, water, and stains, and it's the Teflon spray, 
It's also Teflon nonstick pans that are in your kitchen. You know how your Teflon pan in your kitchen is getting a little chipped yeah. and you still use it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throw that away. Mm-hmm. Get, a, get something called an organic pan, which is a non-toxic ceramic pan. They're not very expensive. I have three or four of them. I use them for everything. Well, uh, Deb, I have to get rid of the, get rid of the couch, <laughs> the love seat. You need to call the movers. And right? yeah, all the pots. Just don't even bother to go home. Just, yeah. yeah. Now, God. interestingly enough, perfluorinated chemicals are also in fast food wrappers. So the reason that the grease doesn't go through the wrapper and into the bag is because the wrapper is lined with perfluorinated chemicals. Yay. Yeah. So yeah. it's in our food. Yeah. And, and you've got you guys have heard the big thing with microwave popcorn not too long ago. And yeah. they had like the the people at the microwave popcorn plant, they had all kinds of sicknesses and yeah. they actually called it um uh, some kind of popcorn syndrome or something like that wow. but these are these are also perfluorinated chemicals and they're proven to cause hormone problems and mental disorders and things like that now i want everybody to think of the problem wait a minute go back to the popcorn where is it in the popcorn <laughs> microwave popcorn it's in the bag it's in the bag right okay so i i get one that's a that's a i think it's a paul newman's or or, or organic uh pop microwave popcorn it doesn't have that in it and it, it'll say right on the box that it doesn't have the hmm. the perfluorinated chemicals but I want everybody to think about 10 people that you know. What are the health problems that they have? Do they have diphtheria and tuberculosis? Probably not. Do they have thyroid problems, cancer, female hormones, depression, anxiety, ADD, obesity, diabetes? Yes. This is the problems that we're confronting right now in healthcare. The challenge in healthcare in the next 50 years is going to be how we deal with this. And they're not even, they're just now trying to figure out where it's coming from. And this is where a lot of this stuff may be coming from, is from just all the stuff that has built up in our bodies over time. So the challenge in healthcare in the next 50 years is going to be how we deal with this. So eating a clean diet, avoiding chemicals whenever you can, using green cleaners in your home, avoiding chemical air fresheners, skipping the plastic and using glass containers, get a home water filter and fill up a stainless steel or a BPA-free bottle, Um, like the one I have, buy an air purifier for your home, crack the windows on a cool day. You know, our our houses have become so sealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It it didn't used to be that way. Houses used to be drafty. Yeah. And that was bad for our air conditioning bill. But what it was good for is it let fresh air in and it sort of got rid of some of those household chemicals that were in there. Now it's like we live in a sealed bubble that whatever's in there kind of hangs around. So, you know, crack your windows on a, um, on a pretty day um, and, and uh, uh, let, let it sort of air out. Um, and also you should um, dust often using, uh, without using chemicals. Um, get an air purifier for your home. Eat organic diet, at least the top 12. You know, not everybody can afford to eat everything organic. But if you'll do a Google search for the top 12 chemical-laden fruits and vegetables, it's, some, it's, called on, it's called on there the Dirty Dozen, which are like the 12 dirtiest fruits and vegetables that you buy. If you just pick those 12, you'll be okay. And the ones that aren't on those lists, you can get like a fruit wash that you can spray them with, a veggie and fruit wash, and just make sure that you pay attention to that. Um, and so have the exterminator spray the outside of your house and skip the inside if you can. Um, skip the drive throughs pull the weeds instead of spray them. You know, just pay a little bit of attention to the chemicals you're using around your house and try to avoid them whenever you can. Um, so just be aware of this. And, and, you know, like I said, these things build up in your body over time. It's not going to make you sick today or tomorrow. It's a cumulative effect. And um, I just wanted to call attention to them once again today and, and cite this new study that these really smart doctors that got paid all sorts of money to come up with this study uh, of what I've been telling you about for the last five years here on Wellness Wednesdays with CJ and Debbie Ray. But, you know, these doctors really are onto something. And, and, and the bottom line is I'm just glad they're finally getting it. Um, you know, they're finally starting to realize that that a lot of the, the, the health conditions that people are suffering with today is because of this. These chemicals have only been around for about the last 50 years. And because of this increase, if you look like if you look at the increases of hormone problems, thyroid problems, and those other things I mentioned, and the rate of chemical use, they go up line for line. I mean, it's can you all, imagine the zoo this country is going to be in fifty years? Yeah, yeah, Oof. we got to get a handle on this. We won't I mean, be we, here. Thank we've God. We've really got you know. There's all this concern about this environmental 
stuff. And, you know, the real untalked about environmental problem that nobody's even addressing is all the use of these chemicals. You know, it's not so much the carbon dioxide and, and, and all that. And that's what they, the big focus has been on because they can sort of regulate and tax that. But the big thing with our environment is that we is this use of all these environmental chemicals. That's what we really need to focus on. And since there's no money involved in that, they're no, not talking mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. And actually, the money is to not talk about it. You know, these right. these Monsanto seed and Dow Chemical, these are some of the largest corporations in America. And they don't they don't want any of the. Uh, the Washington politicians talking about this stuff, but it's it's a real problem and and it's affecting you and your kids' health. So something you should pay attention to. All right, thank you, Doc. Hey, you guys have a great week. Listen, join us on Facebook at the Bryant Wellness Institutes. We put uh, these kind of research studies on there all the time. We put a lot of little tips and hints in there. And uh, sorry I was late, but I'm glad I made it today. I'll see you guys next week. All right, Wellness Wednesday with Dr. Kevin Bryant Wellness Institutes of Acadiana on KTDY. Ladies.